I am Tom Boyce. I'm a professor of pediatrics and psychiatry at the University of California, San Francisco. And I came to the science of child development via an unusual route of being trained as a pediatrician and wondering about why there was such an uneven distribution of illness, psychiatric disorder, injury, all kinds of morbidity within populations of children. One of the reasons for that unevenness in the distribution of misfortune in, in young children is their exposure to stress and adversity in their communities and their families, uh, things like uh, divorces, losses of parents through death, exposure to violence, poverty, all of these sorts of things get into the body. They go under the skin and they affect the biology of the child leading to illness and disorder. We have been studying this in laboratory settings where we find that there's a, a small group of children who are disproportionately reactive um, to the effects of very standardized tasks that we give them that are challenging within the laboratory setting. And we find that the kids who are the most reactive to these tasks that we give them have one of two kinds of outcomes. Either they are the sickest children within the population from which they are drawn, or they are the most healthy, the most vigorous, the most thriving uh, of those children. So we view these kids as biologically sensitive to adversity and stress, but also to the supportive and nurturant aspects of their environments as well. We call this differential susceptibility, and we view these children as biologically sensitivity to, sensitive to the kinds of contexts in which they are reared. The good news of differential susceptibility is that those children who are responding to adversity and stress with lots of illness, lots of injury, lots of psychiatric disorder are the very children who can thrive more than all the rest of them because they have this inherent sensitivity to context.